We're joined this afternoon on this glorious Sunday afternoon by a William Hislop. Wally Hislop, is that what you call yourself? Wally. Wally. Uh, Wally. Yep. Wally. I like it. I like it. How are you getting on? All right? I'm doing all right, just like everybody else. I bet you struggle, especially being in a flat 24 7 yourself. So, I know. Like just you just Where do you stay, by Wally? Uh, stay in Hamilton Town Centre, so. Uh, ah, it's all right. Everything's at hand. 10 minutes down to a local park and you can go for a walk there, but that's a bit of limited what you can get up to these do, days. Do, have you ever run or anything as well? You tell, tell me a wee bit about you doing workouts at, your, at the farmer's uh, house. I can't, I can't run for the length of uh, love of myself. I've tried running. After I get to about 4 or 5k, my knee goes all the time. And then I try again and it just gets less and less. I can play badminton all day. I can do different sports. I can play football, but I can't run in a straight line for any length of time. That's weird, isn't it? I think I put a lot of I put a lot of emphasis on um, on shoes. I think you've got to have good trainers when you run. You've got it. You can't just you know badminton shoes. People go out and try running all sorts. You've really got to invest in shoes. Um, Asics or Mizuno, Solomon, something like that. That's what I um, yeah. I think it could really hurt your feet and ankles and knees as well without without decent shoes. Have you ever invested in it properly? Have you ever done that or not really? I, got, I actually bought some decent running shoes, but it was my left knee. Uh, they said it was yeah. some sort of band thing, uh, like a band or something, and says it's because it's a repetitive motion all the time. I, my boat is just no yes to it, so I go for a walk, so I'm perfectly fine. I just go for a walk for hours and then, so. Hey, well, you know me, obviously, I'm, I'm designed for running, you know, I'm like Mo Farah. No, 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 definitely no more time. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with the question. So, your full name, please. William Thomas Hislop. Thomas. Any reason for the Thomas? Where did that come from? It's my dad's name. Oh, nice. Is he still about? He's still about. He's still, uh, he's young. He's 66, just no long term 66. Wow. And how does, um, he had you, wow. Is he, um, did, was he into badminton? No, my parents were me into sport. My dad watched the football, and that was about it. So, are you uh, from? Started. Where are you from originally, as well? Carlick. Oh yeah, is that right, Carlick? Uh, so. Born, brought up in Carlick. Spent most of the, half my life there and half my life in Hamilton. There's not much in Carlick, is there? Uh, no, really, no. It's it's all right. It's like it's the biggest uh, town in uh, Clydesdale. Is it? Uh, okay. uh, uh, and it's got plenty of pubs. Oh. That's a bit. <laughs> I know. And did you play badminton there, Willie? Yes, we had a good team. We were a good did school you? team. Did you? Yes, I. Uh, is it pub? Is uh, there? A, is there a good coach as well through there, or what did you do with that? Well, it was good coaches, and then in 1985, I think it was 86, the, the teacher strike. And then that sort of stopped, but we still had coaches that volunteered and some ex-pupils that used to play used to come and help as well. So uh, we had a good team. One year it used to be Holy Cross were the top team, then it was Kerlouk, then it was Holy Cross, then Kerlouk and then Straven came on the scene. And where did, um, where did you play? Uh, it started just a primary three teacher who was uh, just straight out of college. She was six months placement, came to our primary, uh, played the badminton and done a wee bit of badminton at lunchtime for the pupils. So gave it a go, liked it. What's the name? Do you remember the name? Miss Cornish. Cornish. Uh, but uh, she left and then there was no badminton. And One then second, the Clydesdale district started and, and uh, a guy called Diggy Buck came and done some badminton for the primary sevens, started playing and then went to high school and just joined the school club. Started feel, like for the, them. Feel, like, feel like the club that you had when before Miss Cornish had started, was there a club and was there already teams there in Carluke or would, did she start it just for you or was, was that the beginning of it in Carluke as a whole? Has it always been there in Carluke, badminton? There was, I think there's always been badminton. Uh, badminton was quite big. There used to be a lot of teams like churches leagues uh, but they've all died down, they've all disappeared. Uh, I used to play with uh, when I was younger and started getting half decent, play with fourth. Oh, really? But it was, all, it was all through the school, everything was through the school. 
so it was uh, Saturday was when we played, and uh, I think it was two pound, and that was for nine o'clock in the morning to five o'clock at night. <laughs> uh, uh, and they used to have uh, in some of the halls they'd set up what was called pirates. I don't know if any if you remember that, where you ran about all the. I was like, Tig, except you weren't allowed to touch the floor. You used the monkey bars and everything else and that and everything. So there were different things going on, but you were there from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock. So it wasn't just badminton. You were like training and getting exercise and that. Was there a lot of people went to that? That's a great thing, isn't it? I was busy. I was really busy, yeah. Like how many, is it a big school as well in Kaluk? The primary school, uh, I guess. Aye, uh, so, well, it brought in, Kaluk had obviously, you had the, uh, the kids speak the loud, you had law and you had fourth. Uh, the story we surrounded here is it all came in. So Aye. law law and fourth were the ones that had the good, like really good badminton players to start with. Uh, they had clubs in that already. Uh, is there so, any names uh, you remember from back then, Willie? Aye, uh, there was a, well, one of the lasses, Gillian Faulkner, she was a, a young junior Scottish one. She was one of the top ones at the time. Uh, is she from, she from Carlick? She was from law, was she? Well, wow. uh, but she like she. This was way back when you're talking first year, second year. She was a couple of years younger than me, but there was I. There was different players, and that we just had a laugh. Uh, I joined the like, guy I played a lot with at the time was a boy called Stevie Craig, uh, but that we didn't know a lot about competition. So you had your school competition, and then you had your local Clydesdale competition, and that was that year on year. And where were the competitions uh, held? Did that within Carluke, or was Carluke the biggest place? Was it in the area for those fourth and law and Carluke? Uh, they were the, the Carluke was the biggest. Uh, you had Lanark as well. You had Johnny Barry up at Lanark. Used to play with and against Johnny Barry. I've, that that uh, name's come up. I've had that come that name up by John Johnny Barry. Somebody else has mentioned that. Uh, uh, John, John used to run the uh, stuff up at Lanark, up at the YM uh, Hall, the YMCA Hall. But I was never up there. It was and there was the players for Lanark because they went to Lanark Grammar. Right. So they must have come down to the coach uh, on a Saturday down at Kirlick. That was nine so, till five now, wasn't it? When at what age were you then when you first you know when Miss Cornish came, what age were you then? What Oh primary three, four. So I I I was young, really young. At seven or uh, uh, and that was uh, your kind of and that's when you kind of that's when you first First ever played it, and you thought, I don't like this. Aye, but I never really like. Then you, and it was another three, four years till I actually started the going to the skill club. Uh, was, was that just was the badminton just one of the sports you loved? Did you just like all the sports, or was was Miss Cornish when she came in? Were you were you in all sports? I was. I liked my football. I liked playing the football. Yeah. Wasn't any good at it, but enjoyed playing it. Uh, and there was a lot of football teams running about, so uh, I went to the clubs. And were you seen at that time, were you, because when you when you got into badminton and all your kind of peers and everybody that's played football, were you a bit unusual in liking the badminton? Was there other, a lot of other people liked it, or were you kind of a bit of the odd one out a wee bit? No, there was a lot of folks starting at my level, beginner level. And it was a mixed level, and as you go better, you moved up the group, you go... Asked to go for trials with the school team. Yeah, moved up and started playing and uh, got into the different coaching. The coach, the, the coach at the school was good to me. Uh, called Robert Gibson That's came Robert to the Gibson. floor. He sort of came me under his wing Brilliant. and helped me out quite a bit. And like there was no charge on it. You would just look. I'm uh, got a court for a couple of hours. You fancy coming down? Right. And it'd be two or three years down there, and he'd be coaching away and giving us extra tips. So I was sort of trying to get coached as a singles player, although yeah. it's not what I tend to play now at all. <laughs> but at the time, you're playing, playing the, plague, the plague. I think when you're younger, because there's so few people playing, you know, if you if you went down, there was nobody there. You'd say, oh, "Come on, we'll just get a wee game of singles while we we'll, while we we'll wait for everybody else to come." And you end up playing singles, and you really enjoy it. I think I always look, I always found that you know there was. We had a club, but if you went down some nights and somebody's not coming, there's just two of you end up, or if there's three of you end up playing singles. It's, ah, it's really good. I like singles actually a lot. Um, so let's go to the and question. Singles is good for the fitness. Very good for the fitness. Oh, aye. Do you like it now? I like the training for it. Aye. I love training. I absolutely love training, but I'm no a big fan of the playing the game. I'll play it if somebody wants a game in that, but I'll no enter competitions for singles and stuff. I'd rather play it 
amongst friends and that. To enjoy it, to enjoy it. Aye. Um, um, so, do you have any brothers or sisters? Aye? Sorry? Do you have any family, brothers or sisters? I've got a sister, younger sister. How do, what age difference? Uh, two years. And was, she into, was she into Babylon as well or not really? Uh, not at all. No. Um, I was going to say, I was going to ask you another question, brothers or sisters. What age did you say when you first played? About seven? I probably about seven or eight, and then I didn't play again till I was 11. Well, you stopped for, you played for the I, for that year, and then, and then there was the teacher strike, and you stopped playing all together, and then you started no, at 11 again. And all that happened was, when Miss Cornish left, she was only one that uh, let us know about badminton, and then when she left, there was no badminton. Oh, really? So, I uh, so then uh, wow. started again, really started again when then the primary seven and the first year, which was about 11 year old, then and started at the school, uh, the high school club at uh, 11 year old. Isn't that a shame where uh, you know a teacher comes in and starts you on it and you think, God, I like this, and then they go and it stop, you stop for four years. It's incredible, isn't it? Um, uh -huh. And was there, was there still a lot? Did you have any friends with like when you were seven and you stopped? Was there anybody that continued? All that time, do you remember that? No, I've known, I've known our school anyway. There was clubs in other schools. Once we got to high school, we found out that like law had a good club and fourth had a good club, but they had folk that were there coaching. It was parents and stuff there. Uh, but in Kirkuk, I didn't know of any. It was football was the main thing in Kirkuk. And do you remember when you were seven? Did you get a racket? No. No, yeah. I was just whatever the uh, teacher had brought. She brought rackets along, so it was just whatever she had. That's what we used. How good is that? Was that was that Calic Primary School? Was that the one? Or was that uh, yes, one Primary. Ah, brilliant. And uh, so, when do you remember? So, eleven, you started again, and when did you get your racket? Uh, it was probably a cheap racket, a Gola or something like that. It was the very really? first racket I ever had. Really? Uh, and I don't even know where it came from. It'd be a gift for my mum and dad or something it's like that. Probably Father Christmas. Either. Probably, well, it's probably Father Christmas. Probably Father Christmas. Brought yeah, in the chimney. Probably Father Christmas. He used, used to break a lot of rackets down chimneys, but he maybe got down your one. So that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you remember do you, uh, why do you, why and where did you start? That was really why did you start? Was that Miss um, Miss Cornish, right? Was she the first? Uh, she was a, and did you did you really like it when you miss it? Did you miss it when, or did you score at the football and say, oh, that's the end of that? Or did you miss well, it? Did you think that's a real I shame? I missed it the time, but you weren't going to play it again, so you just ended up going out, going, going out, playing rounders with your mates, playing curvy, playing football, doing anything at all to get outside. Oh, that's good. Uh, do you remember your first ever racket was Gola? Uh, Gola. Um, what was the name? What was the name of your first ever club? Um, what well, was a high school club? Look, hi. How when did that play? That was every Saturday. That was a Saturday club. That was a nine till five. That was a nine till five on a Saturday. Awesome, isn't it? Nine till five. Who took that? Did you say? Robert. Uh, it was, it was uh, a couple of teachers and uh, a coach, but the teacher stopped at the strike, so it was a uh, Mister Hoyner. I can't remember what the female teacher was. Uh, how, how do you spell that? Robert Gibson. Oh, I couldn't tell you. I never had him as a teacher. He was an English teacher. Good, isn't that? I mean, that's dedication, right? When a teacher goes into a school on a Saturday and takes a badminton club nine till five, that's that's commitment, yeah. right? Uh, the, the, well, Robert Gibson took it over. Well, he, he helped out and took it over. And it was a lot of former pupils that he used to coach, he used to play, that used to come and help out. It so fantastic. that was good. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. What about seasons? Did the did you bother with seasons? Oh, during, play... during the season, it stopped in the summer, mm -hmm. but uh, it was uh, it was seasonal. Amazing that. Would you get that now? Would you get a teacher in taking kids to a badminton club at nine till five every Saturday? No chance. Incredible. Um, what was the name of the first club? Got that? Um, do you say it was? That was two pound a day. That five, that nine till five, was it? Uh -huh. Two pound a day. That's amazing. What kind of shuttles did you play with? Well, it varied. You had your uh, your typical plastic Yonix uh, Yonix ones. Dalton, and then as you go better, you ended up with a court base, the Yonix Mavis. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what we used to call the competitions, Mavis and Yonex Mavis. We used to love that. Like, we with, thought we were last playing with Yonex Mavis. Oh yeah. They lasted for weeks, right? I was talking to somebody about this earlier in the week. They lasted weeks. You bought a cheaper shuttle and they lasted like a month. Uh, I don't remember when the plastic started to free. You, used to, you actually got quite a good smash off plastic, I think. Sometimes you could get a, a fairly decent smash. And they seem smaller now. Don't you think the plastic shuttles now seem really small? Compared to feathers, I think they do. Um, uh, coaching. So, what do you think your first ever official coaching was, Willie? Was that Robbie Gibson? Robert Gibson. Aye, uh, Robert Gibson. Aye. Uh, Robert Gibson. That's cool. Uh, do you remember your first ever tournament? Yeah, what was that? That was the Lanarkshire Schools. Got beaten the first round. of everything and thought, what am I doing here? <laughs> We got encouraged to play, we went and played, playing folk that were night and day ahead of us, and it's like, what's going on? This isn't what I was expecting. And but, uh, how was did expecting... you feel? Were you nervous when you went on the way there? Where, yeah, where was it? I play a competition. Every single time uh, I get a squeaky bum. Yeah. yeah. Uh, even it's playing matches. It's only, it's only natural. It's only natural, that, I think. Uh, but the first ever, I was interested to know about the first ever tournament when you're on the way and that had you the whole way of competition where the tournament where was the tournament? Lana? It was uh, Airtree Academy. And had you uh, played there before? No. No. Yeah, see, I think um, that's the terrifying bit. That's uh, terrifying. There was, right? different, there was different halls. You had the main hall and then you had a wee hall, which was just a single court. And I remember playing I think my first singles match ever in the wee hall. And I uh, it was embarrassing. Yeah, was it? Do you remember who but, you played? Uh, uh, I can't remember. I, I, I was Sunday for Holy Cross. For some reason, I've got a feeling it was a, a guy called Agnew, Paul Agnew. I might, the Agnew. name might be, first name might be wrong, but uh, I, I got absolutely changed. Did you? Was he older than you or your age? Or? Uh, he was older than me because I was a year younger with my age group because it used to be the 1st of November was the uh, 1st of August was a break and Mimi bought, being born in November. Uh, I could play the age group below, so at high school I had to play the age group up. So that was a first experience. So that's a comfort then. At least when you've lost, somebody could just say, "Oh well, somewhere he's older than you." You never had a chance. He was older, and then and then. So when you went to that, I'm interested to know when you went to that tournament and you got trounced. How did you feel about training after that? Did you suddenly think I need to get a lot better at this to go in another? I really enjoyed it, but I need to be a lot better. Or did you just think? That's not for me, or what happened? I probably thought it wasn't for me, but I enjoyed playing the game. Okay. And I enjoyed the training part. It was the social side as well, because yeah. I was, it wasn't just folk for Colloquia you were playing with and getting to know it was folk for Law, folk for Ford, people for Lanark. It was all over. It was, yeah. I enjoyed, and I, I really enjoyed the training. I still enjoy training. I prefer training to play. And you know, when you said somebody persuaded you to go, was that that Robbie Gibson, Robert Gibson? Did he say you should go and, and did you have a partner? Did you play in the doubles with somebody else? Or? I played in the doubles, but I played in the doubles with uh, various folk. Uh, for, my first doubles partner was my... You're talking my about Airdrie, right? Friend. Talking about going back to Airdrie. Do you remember who you played with in the doubles and that? Uh, no. I, don't, I didn't play the mix. I don't recall who I played in the doubles with. Uh, but my first doubles partner was my uh, friend Derek Nimmo. And it was like little and large. <laughs> good though. It's like me and you, I think we play quite well together. I'm at the front, you're at the back, it's all good. Derek, what was the surname? Nemo. Nemo, as in I. Uh huh. Finding Nemo. Hi, right, nice. Uh, do you remember your first ever tournament trophy? Um, what's your most successful event? Yeah, what did you like as an event? Back then? I, I love playing a mix, still do. Did you? Did That's you? my favourite. Who did you play with back then in Carluke? Was there many girls played as well? Yes, I. Uh, Laura played. She, in Carluke? Aye. Uh, did she? Wow. She went to Carluke High. Did she? Uh, Laura Keith, aye. That's how I know Laura. I have uh, no uh, idea she's from Carluke. Aye, and that was in the same year as her sister, Karen. But my mm -hmm. mixed doubles partner was a lassie called Lynn McCallum, who was far better than me. She was, she was outstanding. What she was her was, name? Lynn McCallum. Does she still play, do you know? She's 
she tried to come back. Uh, I actually had a hit with her a couple of years ago uh, with some other girls. Uh, I used to play badminton with at the school. Uh, she stays through in the Falkirk area. Well. So I went through, uh, through there and uh, just started having a hit with her. She went to Andy Cook's through at Grangemouth. Oh, yeah, I know him. I uh, and snapped her Achilles the first time she oh. went. Oh my so uh, that put her ass one back. <laughs> what do you think about that? The, I'm I'm quite interested in the idea that somebody, you know, when you go to clubs and that kind of thing, and somebody says the amount of times as organising clubs, people have been sending you messages saying I used to play at school, la la la, la and you just straight. I'm, I was talking to Aileen about the idea that you tend to know if somebody's been good. So even like now, our age, I mean, you're younger than me, but I'm fifty, and I see somebody walking in, and and you can know within a couple of minutes whether they've been able to play properly and they've been coached. It's quite instantaneous. Do you think, do you think it's like riding a bike? Do you think people, like when she came back, would you, would you say that you thought, I know she busted her Achilles, but you know, when you, when you played with her, did you think, had she not played at all in between then and, and you playing with her? Had she just been, she had played at all? Or? I don't know. I had, I'd lost contact. I'd actually stopped playing badminton when I was 19. Did you? 20. Aye, uh, I had a big fallout. Uh, well, I, I used to coach at the club. Uh, in Carlook. I in Carlook. The Saturday club sort of stopped. Uh, and when I was, uh, I was still helping Robert out with the kids coaching. He would still coach. Yeah. I was helping with some other younger ones that were coming up through sparring with them and that. Uh, doubles, mixed doubles. And I enjoyed the game. And then Robert took an, took an angina attack and asked me if I would stand in until he got back on his feet. Well, I worked at the leisure centre as a leisure attendant as well. I see. So I says, ah, that's no bother. I'll cover the uh, club. Because you've been uh, working. Are you working at the same time kind of thing? Wait, is that the... Well, I, was, I wasn't getting paid for the coach. I was just, I was, I was doing it as a favour for my mate. Brilliant. That's the way I was looking at it. And I went in one Sunday morning. We had 30 to 40 kids turning up every Sunday for three coach. And uh, we would organise games. It would tear a laugh. Turned up one Sunday morning. says, oh, you can let all the kids know next week's the last week. And I said, well, we've still got another month or so of the season to go. He mm-hmm. says, oh, no, no, we're stopping the badminton all together. It's easier to play, set up uh, two hours of five sides and put it as a badminton. He says, oh, but you've got 30 to 40 kids coming every Sunday. Says, what are they going to do? Oh, just one of these things, that's the way it is. So I put my bag on my shoulder and walked out the door and told them to stick it. Uh, I'll not be back in this centre, I'll not be back working for you again and walked out. Wow. Went up the road and threw my badminton stuff in the cupboard. And really? That's the last time. Oh, that I love that. Time. For how long? 20, 20 years. Oh, oh. oh my God. Isn't that uh, incredible? So the only reason I got back in it was because of my kids. Really? Were they, they into it? Uh, they started playing, so I ended up uh, going to find an adults club and playing it for there. That's amazing. I'm amazing. going to have to move that screen a wee bit. Yeah, that's fine. Well, that's an amazing story. Isn't it? Do, any regret, do, you, do you regret that? Yes. Yeah. Aye. Uh, but like, it's done. Was, it, was, it, was, a little, was that a little bit of cutting off your nose to spite your face? Uh, well, the, the clubs were actually all starting to shut down. There wasn't very many clubs kicking about. The badminton seemed to dwindle yeah, uh, for a while there. And, uh, just, and did, they, did they keep on living in Carluke, Willie? Yes, up until about 1996. So how long was that after leaving that leisure centre? Did you leave Carluke? Uh, goodness. So I left school about six years. Jesus, wow. Isn't that amazing? And how did I you become... You're, sorry, your, your career, you're a civil engineer, right? Yes, yeah, civil engineer with a local council. How did you get into that? You, did you go to uni or that? Or would it... uh, by luck or bad luck, whatever way you want to put it. Uh, the careers of uh, advice that you used to go to, 
the women I normally went to wasn't there, so somebody else stood in for us. Some qualifications, you're very technical minded. Here's an application for Strathclyde Regional Council. Uh, went up the road, wasn't interested, thought there'll be thousands in for that. Unawares to me, my mum filled out the application form and sent it away, and I got an interview. <laughs> went for an interview, didn't know what the interview was about. Went for the interview and got the job. You didn't know what, what it was for? Year. And I've been there for 30 years now. Oh my God, what an amazing story. And do you, do you, do you play that with any of your work colleagues? Or have you ever? I got asked to stand in, they turned up, played badminton, and a couple of the guys says, look, if somebody's pulled out, can you stand in? I says, I may bother, but I never got asked back. Uh, <laughs> really? But I was, that was at the start, so I was still playing badminton then. Okay. Uh, so, aye. That's brilliant, that's brilliant, Willie. Really. Like, I would, I would, I'll play with India at any level, it's just all about fun, making sure they have fun. That's exactly right. And what do you think? Who was your main going back? Your final question on history. Who was your main competition growing up when you did play singles or doubles or mixed? Did you have did you have a regular person that you played with? I suppose even if we go back to before you fell out with it, um, did, yeah. who was your who was your? I played. I met in every final, and I never beat him. Was a was guy called Andrew Gallagher. Andrew Gallagher. Aye. And. And I've played with him in the uh, the county, inter county uh, stuff now. So we've got him back playing for uh, the really? Lancashire County team. Wow. So, uh, how recently? Uh, Is that very recent? Sorry. Uh, last couple of years he's played. Wow, hasn't that good? When, has he stopped playing? Uh, well, you'd need, you'd need to speak to him. Time. I know he worked abroad as well. So. I see. Yeah, I'd be interested to speak uh, to him, eh? Um, okay, now that's that's awesome. Andrew Gallagher, and that was your singles guy. That was the singles guy. That was singles and mixed doubles, I. And who was that mixed doubles? Your part. Your partner was Laura O'Keefe. That was that. Was that your partner? Yeah, my partner was Lynn McCallum. Was she the same age as you? Or, and what age were you then? Uh, when I was playing, she was the same age. So when I played with Lynn, it was all the way through high school. Okay. Uh, so so after the sixteen. 16, so uh, the, uh, the oldest. Under uh, 16, under 18s. Uh, Brilliant. There's a lot of people travelling from Carl Luke to like Lanarkshire to play and stuff. Is that still happen? Do you know? Do you know people now that go to from Carl Luke that play badminton? Uh, yeah, not so much now. Uh, I, I don't know what the badminton scene's like in Carl Luke. I know that was one of the few halls that was actually open during uh, when the lockdown got eased. That was one of the few. Uh, Council yeah, halls, that? That, that, that was because it's part of the high school. Right. Uh, the leisure centre is part of the high school there, so they would need to right. have had that open. Right. Mm -hmm. The borders, I'm in the borders, I'm in Peebles, nothing's open. Border, sport and leisure have got places in all over the borders. Um, Peebles, Peebles Gallows Shields, Telkirk, Hoyk, Jedbra, and the borders. It's been, borders was in the lowest tier of any of them, and none, nothing has been open. Border, sport and leisure decided we're not going to have any sports halls open for anything. And that's what, all the way through from last March, not a single sports hall has been open. Terrible. Well, that's the same in South Africa. We've not done any of the sports halls open. Have you not? Even, been but we've been, in tier two, we've been in tier two a lot, and it's still not been open. Terrible. Um, anyway, so what clubs do you play with now? Yeah, do you have a home club? I know you play in a lot of places. Do you have a home club now? Yeah, my, I would say my home club is Addingston. Uh, I tamed my kid to a trial there for a team and uh, there was an adult club on at the time and I ended up sitting speaking to a couple of adults and they asked me to come in the uh, uh, Tuesday night. No, Went I um, had to dust off my old racket for 30 years ago <laughs> uh, and uh, I went along, loved it and started playing. That was when I was about 39, 40. And you still go there? I, uh, well, I was, I had sort of cut back a wee bit. I started really only going when my eldest son wanted to go and play. What age is he? He's 20, he's 21 next month. Is he any good? He was okay, aye. He was, he had, he had the shorts, but he never had the movement. He was flat-footed. Oh, right, uh, yeah. But he used to love playing. He really only wanted to play against folk that were better than him. He wasn't interested in playing against. good, right. Uh, so he wanted 
you, I remember playing, uh, I think it was the first international, a uh, youth international tournament at Glasgow School of Sport. Wow. And in his group was one of the Grimleys. And he went, well, it was the best I'd ever seen group eight, but it was the best I'd ever seen him play. And okay. he came out feeling great, although he group eight. Uh, but I know, and then my younger son played as well, so uh, he had... What are your boys' names? Up. What are your boys' names? names? What are their names, uh, really? Reese is the oldest one, he's 20, and Aidan's 17. Brilliant. And, and what's the Aberdeen scene like at school? And oh, I suppose, what's it been like? What was yeah. it like at school? Did they have it at school? They never had a badminton team at school. They know. No, they never had any badminton. Uh, Hamilton Grammar didn't have any real badminton at all. It was all through clubs and private coaching. Well, wow. right. Okay, so know. sorry, I'm, I'm gonna ru- I'm gonna rush on because I'm we've got five minute warning now. Uh, what's your current favourite racket? Oh, it's what I'm playing with you now. It's uh, Apex, and I'm Apex Ten. I can't, uh, I, I can't even remember what it's called now. It's been that long since I've used it. I know it's like that. Isn't it? I've got two. I've actually got a, a, a racket belonging to Cape and Lynn, Lynn, who I don't know if you know Kai. Kai Lynn, he's uh, he got it restrung by Andrew Ironside in February. And I've still got it. I've still got it. <laughs> um, so, tension? 31. Uh, how do you manage family life in badminton? Did you. When you you didn't really play when you had young kids, did you have did you play badminton at that time? No, nothing ever uh, really young, no. Yeah. But what, when I started what? playing, if the kids needed us, uh, badminton would drop, and kids are them, uh, that was a top priority. So if I got a chance to see my kids, then it was a case, right? Whatever was meant to be doing was stopped, and I wouldn't deal with the, uh, see the kids. Good for you. And what's your favourite event now? Singles, doubles, Next. or mixed? Was mixed, that? Mixed, aye. And who's, mixed. Your, who's your best current mixed partner? Oh, you put me in the spot now. I have. Uh, well, my current mixed partner is Amanda Hamilton. Good. Uh, uh, so I would say, at this moment in time, Amanda's my favourite partner. Do you um and what is it you like about her game and why you just you just gel? Do you think when you play together? I well, I was. I was through the social badminton uh, senior events that was held and we put a team in and it was Aslan uh, brought Amanda That's along right. we, had a, we had a hat wear and then the following season we're going to put a team in again and uh, we go, uh, I'd say to Amanda for the competitions look, I never had a mixed partner says do you fancy playing some of the mixed competitions and I, we get on well uh, she's a good, strong player. She's fat. Yeah, she gets yeah. a bit of court well. Yeah. Uh, ah. Good. Enjoy playing. Good. Um, do you feel as competitive now as you always were? Are you are you more competitive or less competitive? What do you think? Conscious of time here. Uh, I'm probably most comp- more competitive now than what I was before. If I, the, the thing that I need to do is if I'm not enjoying playing, uh, if I'm not having fun. And I'm not, I'm not going to play well. I need to be enjoying the game. Enjoy enjoy you enjoy. You make your own fun, though, right? You make your own fun, I think. You know? Uh, uh, um, so, okay, last question. What do you love about badminton compared to other sports? Or is it, do you love it more than any other sport? What do you think? I would say it's probably one of the best sports you can get socially. Uh, you get to meet folk from all over, all different backgrounds. Uh, the... I agree. There's always, there's always that competitive side when you go on court. And when you go on court, everything else switches off. Because all you need, all you can concentrate is on the, uh, the shuttlecock. I'm, I'm with you and on that 100%. That everything else just sort of switches yeah. out. So all the problems you've got, uh, you can forget about it and just concentrate on that. Hold on. I knew that was going to happen. He's still there. I'm still here. He's still there. Can you hear me? Hold on a second. Yes. The, the recording stopped. Hold on. Oh, it hasn't. I'm still here. It's my headphones. Sorry. No, Sorry. no. It's... I got. I've got a time warning on the alarm. So you kept. Hopefully, everybody kept on hearing you talk. I couldn't hear anything because my headphones went dead. I'm right. About that. But anyway, they would have heard you. That's good. Thank you, Willie. That was awesome. Thirty-five minutes on the bell.
Nee, bother. I'm conscious to try to do it and try to stop it before they just cut you off. Like, I thought I'd just cut you off there, but I hadn't. Anyway, so thank you. All right. No, thanks. Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Cheers. Well, Take it easy. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Really enjoyed that. Cheers, buddy.